It is sometimes easy to forget that. Only six years ago, Norwegians checked the weather forecast in a very different way than they do today. Ear is synonymous with weather and has nearly 100% brand awareness. We forecast the weather for 9 million places around the world. Every country, island, mountain, and city is covered. The service has also spread worldwide, demonstrating its accessibility and ease of use. According to Alexa.com, it now ranks as the fifth most popular weather service worldwide. The site is especially popular in Scandinavia, of course, but also attracts several hundred thousand users from South Africa, the Czech Republic, Russia, Saudi Arabia, the US, and Canada. How is it that we have achieved this? For us, it's about the users. For many years, forecasters have used graphs to visualize forecast data. We felt that these graphs were a good way of communicating forecasts, but the design was rather hopeless. Only one in five were able to understand these meteograms. They were far too complex, the colors were wrong, and the symbols didn't work, so we started playing around with it. We made hand-drawn sketches that we showed to random people we met on the subway. This enabled a fast feedback loop, letting us interact with actual users. It only takes 10 minutes to make a hand-drawn sketch, but it can take hours to make one in Photoshop. At first, we failed, and it took some time to figure out why. It turned out that people mostly got the parts about temperature and weather symbols, but had no idea what the green bars meant. Meteorologists have, for historical reasons, always used the color green for precipitation, both for rain and snow. The scientists insisted that precipitation had to be green. We switched to blue, and all of a sudden, virtually everybody intuitively understood what information was being communicated. Better use of colors and backgrounds also helped, and letting the symbols follow the temperature line made the relationship between weather and temperature clear. We established a user panel that started off with 50 people, later growing to well above a thousand. The panel got hand-drawn sketches, rough Photoshop mock-ups, and questions by email. We asked them to explain what they understood, and read thousands of email responses. Instead of asking people what they thought of the design, we focused entirely on what people perceived and understood. All this feedback has contributed to the design process. Usability testing is another important tool to discover how people use weather forecasts and understand how they make decisions based on them. Today, we use Facebook to reach thousands of users daily. They not only help us discover bugs, but also to build a community of weather enthusiasts who share their favorite weather photos with us. På yr finner du alt om påskeværet. Værvarsel, snødybder og skiføre. Sjekk værmeldingen på det unike time for timevarselet. Påskeværet får du på yr.no. I påsken er det viktig at du viser respekt for været og værmeldingen i hele landet. Med yr er du hele tiden oppdatert med ferske observasjoner, været time for time og langtidsvarsel akkurat der du er. God påske. Hilsen yr. Skal du på tur? Sjekk været på din mobil. Fortsatt god sommer. Hilsen Yr. En tjeneste levert av NRK og Meteorologisk Institutt. Paraply eller solbriller. Sjekk været time for time. 17. mai været for hele Norge får du på Yr.no.